United Nations has announced seven of its peacekeepers died Saturday in an ambush in Sudan's Darfur region, the worst ever loss to the international force in the country's decade-long conflict. Seventeen others were also wounded near the mission's base at Manawashi. While no group has claimed responsibility for the attack, the rebels are blaming the government-backed militia. U.N. Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has since condemned the killings as a heinous attack on the peacekeepers, whose mission, according to the Sudan Tribune, has played an important role to provide the vital aid to civilians affected by tribal clashes in different areas. The deadly conflict began in 2003 when rebels took up arms against the Khartoum government, accusing it of oppressing the country's black Africans. Four years later, the U.N. stationed some 16,000 peacekeeping troops to quell the violence. While the bloodshed reached its peak between 2004 and 2005, clashes over resources have escalated this year among rival ethnic groups. Al Jazeera reports this latest attack might not be an isolated incident. Thousands of foreign soldiers have been stationed here with a mandate to protect civilians. But in recent months, they have increasingly become targets themselves. The International Criminal Court has issued arrest warrants for Sudanese President Omar Hassan al-Bashir for crimes against humanity and genocide, but he refuses to appear in court. Human rights groups like Amnesty International have blamed Western politicians for dragging their feet when it comes to pursuing justice for the Sudanese people. As a correspondent for the Christian Science Monitor argues, the West's desire to remain influential in a region that is increasingly looking to the Gulf and the Pacific Rim is why Bashir's arrest warrant remains unserved and why his allies are guests of Western politicians. An estimated 300,000 people have died in Darfur and more than 2 million have fled their homes since the conflict began 10 years ago. For Newsy, I'm Elizabeth Hagedorn.